Right, here we are. I've got you in like a Top Gear setup here, and um, yeah, the bad thing is, uh, I didn't realise there was something called a LEZ, low emission zone in London. I knew there was ULEZ and congestion charge, but uh, this uh, low emission zone is quite expensive. So I came here thinking, yeah, um, sound, I'll just pay 30 quid, 15 pounds each for ULEZ and congestion charge. But it uh, turns out that um, the low emission zone is 100 pounds a day. Um, so, I came to London yesterday and I'm here today, that's 200 quid and then it's another 50, 60 quid for uh, the other stuff on top. So quite expensive. I was going to fill my cool box up with beers and uh, hand them out at the event but I guess I'm going to have to try and save as much money as I can now so I'm being, I'm being uh, quite stingy. My mate Ant is coming today for, up from Kent, um, he's got a white uh, 110 Defender. Um, so yeah, that'll be good to see him. Haven't seen him in a long time. Um, but I told him yesterday, I phoned him up. I was like, mate, it's going to cost you like 120 quid. And he was like, oh my God. Because no one knew about it. Um, but yeah. And then one of my mates, Will, he checked what his was going to be. And his was only have to pay, going to have to pay um, congestion, new les. All because his has got seats in the back. So it's not classified as a van. And then um, mine has got seats in the back. For those of you that have seen Clarkson's farm, that clip of uh, Caleb Cooper driving around London collecting wasabi is literally exactly how I feel right now. Um, and it's not even busy. Where am I? In there? In here? What is going on? In 100 yards, use the second from the left lane to turn left onto Piccadilly, then use the second from the left lane to turn slightly right onto Duke of Wellington Place. What? Cool. And we're here. Arrived at Belgrove Square. Here's the wagon. So, more and more turning up. Uh, I tried to put it up here on two bivvy poles, but, um, it just didn't work, it wasn't stable enough. And here's the back. Um, it's got the Yetis in, and then what it normally is. Ant's gonna be here soon, um, and I've got, I'll reserve him this space so we can go right next to me. Um, here comes another one now. Here he is! <laughs> so it's not white. Bloody hell. Right? <laughs> right. Do you want to give us a little tour of yours? Come on then. <laughs> Defender, 300 TDI. <laughs> Core flag, cool repping. Flag. Uh, Cooper Discoverer tyres. Oh, I'll get in the back. <laughs> got nothing in here at the moment, but this is where all the camping shit goes. Uh, got roof tent on top. Sweet. Oh and then painted it himself as well. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> Debatable. It's, uh, it's wrapped to paint, so it's like, you just have to like sand it down and you spray it on. Um, yeah. I like to get the colors. You, uh, you just sort of find what you want and just mix them together, so. Yeah. Um, and then here they are, both of them. Oh. We're now going on the drive. I don't know where I'm going though. Neither do I. Yeah, I don't have a clue, mate. We're trying to find the route that um, the bloke Tim put on his uh, on his Instagram story, but um, I don't really get what it's saying. This is absolutely mental. I've got Ant behind me with the core flag. 
Ant's break sounds like a, uh, a dying rabbit. What are we doing here? I don't know, I think so. <laughs> are we stopping here, are we? Up, yeah. Right, am I, can I go in there? Between the two Sweet. Now. So as you can see, everywhere behind me is a defender right now. We've still got more coming in. And then um, here is where the front line is. And then we just go the whole way back, right up there. Um, there's mine, there's Ants, repping the, uh, repping the men. Um, and yeah, got loads of people coming in. I'll show you my favorite one. Um, and here's the six-wheeler, actually. I see absolute beast, V8. Um, yeah, weapon. Tinsel on the back. Oh, here we go. Here's a little uh, lightweight one. There's also a couple of, couple of uh, military ones, some armored ones, interesting. Um, but yeah, you've got every type of defender here. Um, yeah, sick. Very well dressed. Here we go, six wheeler with the uh, with the tree on top. Oh, that is close there. He's done well. Here they come, all turning in. Goes the whole way back there. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet one. You see the back doors. This is probably my favourite dressed defender here. Clinging on for dear life. So we're at the final spot. Uh, we're doing all the photos here. Uh, so it's like the halfway point of the drive around London. Uh, I think there's around 150, so it goes the whole way from up there. Um, don't know what landmark that is, I must admit. And then they're this side, other side, and they go the whole way down. Uh, and they're even on the other side of the road there, if you can look over. Um, yeah, and we're going to resume the drive soon and go back to Belgrave Square where we started and then it'll be the end of the day. Uh, but it's been class so far, driving through, everyone loves it. Uh, everyone walking around London just stopping to look at all the defenders and um, yeah, it's a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed that little insight. It's a short video, I know I've got, I'm hopefully not gobbing off for too long. Um, but yeah, unreal day, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.